Prime Minister, following the deaths of Ms. Kimba Morris and her eight-year-old daughter, Zaya, at a house fire at Queen Anne Road, Siparia, mainly due to a non-functional appliance at the Siparia fire station, will the Prime Minister inform this house whether an audit has been ordered of all fire stations by the government to determine their level of readiness and preparedness to swiftly respond to citizens' needs in periods of emergency. Prime Minister. Madam Speaker, I will not join the member for Kuva South and seek to politicize this or any other tragedy, except to say, Madam Speaker, that I'm in no position to say that the death of these people were caused by a non-functional fire unit. Madam Speaker, that is an irresponsible statement. And the government will not join Kuva South in saying that because the circumstances of the death of those two unfortunate people are not so simply described. However, Madam Speaker, more than one year ago, on March 20th, 2022, the cabinet of the government of Trinidad and Tobago approved a sum of $30.1 million under the development program to acquire a fleet of vehicles for the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service. The vehicles included three water tenders, one emergency tender, one ambulance, and one chemical industrial tender, among other vehicles. The vehicles were to be assigned to the fire station at Mayaro, Penal and Point 14. This is part of the ongoing work of the government of Trinidad and Tobago, which consistently operates on the basis that we strengthen where we have to, and we strengthen further, and over time, we go from strength to strength, Madam Speaker.